Hello, my name is Russ Merrick. I'd like to welcome you to the uh, manufacturing facility of Merrick Machine Company. What we have for you guys, we have uh, one of our Merrick original products. This is an engine stand. Take a shot here, we got a ball detent pin. This is a uh, collapsible fold-up engine stand. It's got some really neat features in it. I can actually pull these legs, pull them apart. Get into place, lock it all in. We're actually rolling on a series of three casters. These are heavy duty casters that we sell in our other automotive product line as part of our uh, Merrick Originals. Get all this locked into place. Spins real easy, got a wide frame. You can take this uh, to the racetrack, put it underneath your garage floor, hang it on your wall, whatever you're doing. Okay guys, take a look here real quick. You can actually look, we're actually leaning back here a little bit. We've got about three degrees built into this. We did that intentionally. Most of the times you actually got your, your engine block hanging out here and it starts to sag. Once you got the bolts on here, the weight, you start putting the, the heads on, cams, crank, all the good things, the journals, everything starts to sag over time. You get the weight, carburetor, the whole shooting match. This kind of compensates. So we're actually sitting flat. We're trying to get as flat as you possibly can instead of sagging downhill. Okay, big deal. That's about the same as everybody else's, right? Here's another neat trick we have, guys. Let's go ahead and take your engine and let's stand it up, okay? Instead of being in a horizontal position, we're in vertical. Well, why in the world would you want to go vertical? Well, there's a lot of good reasons to do that. Number one, if you're trying to put the pistons in, it's real easy. You don't want to take your bolts and uh, drive them up against the, uh, uh, your crank journals. You can just turn them at the right angle, hold everything up. You're not fighting gravity as bad when you're trying to do it on the side and you're trying to reach in or you've got your, your rings actually on your pistons and you're trying to drive it and, and hunker down. You can actually see some of our other videos that we have. We've got engine blocks in place. Watch some of those and you can go through that and we'll go through some of those steps and processes why this is such a good deal. But when you're trying to put your, uh, your cams in and all the other things that go with that, guys, this is the cat's meow. Standard engine stand here. We've actually got a, uh, a welded bolt on the back side here. I'll flip it over for you right here. The welded bolt acts as a fixed stop. It's also leaning back a little bit, so we're not going to uh, inadvertently uh, hit it or bump it and go the opposite direction. As I pull the pin out, I'm going to come around the front side real quick. We've also got a, uh, another welded stop, and that holds it at the three degrees that we currently have on the machine. Nice, neat. We've also got another uh, ball detent pin. Everything's a series of ball detent pins, so you can go ahead and rotate this, put it wherever, you're, wherever your heart desires. Once again, this is the, uh, the engine stand. It's a collapsible fold-up. This is the cat's meow right here, guys. You're trying to rebuild an engine. This comes in handy when you can take this thing from a horizontal position to a vertical. It's so much easier to do that. If you can do that on your own, in your shop, whether you're trying to rebuild engines all the time you know, in a production facility, or you're in a garage, you're just trying to do it at home, or in your backyard, this is the cat's meow. This is the uh, fold-up engine stand. Once again, this is an America original product. If you have any questions, you can call the factory at 1-800-568-7423. Or you can go online at theautodolly.com or theautorotisserie.com, and you can see some of our dealers and uh, actually where, to, where you can actually go to buy this product. Once again, my name is Russ, and I thank you for your time.